what tiny little child approaches. Me? Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I've consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. Here's my wager. I'm ready for you now. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? What you make up in muscles, you're lacking in spine. More than strength, I can boast that my features are fair. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant! Yes! More! Have you ever met someone so witty and quick? You have the wit and the charm of a wood tick. You can't go harder than that? <laughs> Wonderful! Rare to find someone with any flighting skill. You deserve every bit of your bet and more. I'll remember some of those insults. Happy to be of service. Eivor Wolfkiss, is that you? It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Styrbjorn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Test it? How? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Huh. Show me your picks. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They are talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, they should worry about me. <laughs> this is my raiding crew, Eivor. But they lack an experience they make up for in other areas. Together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron, into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashild the Teen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Rolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So, those three, yeah? Huh? I've handled more. You want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. 
Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Ava Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Ava Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Ava. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? I am ready! <gasps> Fight! The raider needs to be ruthless. I am better than any man here! You have much to learn. Have a good chance. I would rather have some meat. Did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick-headed. Like his old man. <laughs> Wait. That is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra, for cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck. Welcome, warrior. Silke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the Nine Worlds. Rare objects, priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. And I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap? Belonging to the hero Sigurthur when he fought the Great Beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. What about that helmet? That was the helmet Halfden the Black War when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Baron wore the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? I know you now, Silke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Chutbe pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kyotva. I ran! Coward! I should cut you down! No! Loki curse you! The words will not... Zulke will stay within the city. He finds safety within its walls. I feel... You arrived without a sound. Are you a scald? I have never heard poetry shouted in this way. A scald? Oh no, not at all. I am truly looking for honor and have become lost as a result. You're looking for honor here? It's a bit remote. I am the seventh son of a seventh son. I am expected to bring great honor to my family. But everything has been done. 
My uncles and brothers have all had great victories, or even greater deaths. There's nothing left for me to do. The gods have been deaf to my pleas, but you are here. So you want a great victory from me, or a great death? No! I want to live, and I could not possibly hope to win against you. That is true. But maybe you could lead me to a victory. I can tell by looking at you, you are not a great warrior. You know it too. There's no reason to deny this. I could bring you a chance at honor. An animal of some kind. Something you could handle. Yes, yes. That could work. I could add a few details. Nothing too exaggerated. Skulls do it all the time. So now you're a skull. Do not go anywhere. I will only do this once. I will be here. On my honor. Show me what lies ahead. Now, win your honor. They are much bigger up close. I do not think I can do this. I do not think I can do this! Come, Alan. Honor calls. Not great, as far as death goes, no. neither was he. Magic gathers here. A pestilence poisons this land. What is this menace you shout about? Is it some creature you hunt? My prey is the most cunning of beasts, capable of vile deeds beyond the ability of any common animal. You are hunting someone then? A warlock. One who once called himself a man, but has since befouled his hoover. His whole being with twisted Seder magic. This has the feel of something more personal. The evil spider who squats in yonder hut poisoned my own sister. For that alone, it deserves to die. But maybe you would be moved to help by the bounty King Harald has offered for any warlock killed. Prophet can persuade where passion fails. I will weigh this against the effort. The warlock makes its lair down this road to the left. Keep an eye out. Have you come to face me, finally? How do we... Are you the warlock who laid a curse on this land? There was a curse here long before I came along. A curse of ignorance that infects all of Midgard. So you're not using your magic against this land and its people? I try to use my knowledge to help others. I am only a threat to those who fear the unknown, of which there are many. There's a hunter who believes you poisoned his sister. I tried to save her. I made a mixture that would have burned away her illness, but he chose to drench her in pig's blood. If there is any blame here, it lies on him and his ignorant kin. He killed his sister. Do not listen. He will poison our thoughts. You have no thoughts to poison! Die, monster! To hell with you!
One day this land will be cleansed of these twisted deceivers. I struck first, so I will claim the bounty. You may take what you wish from its hands. Give me the strength to give to you! What is all this? My life. The fruit of my work, all gathered here. And now, I lack the strength to throw it off this cliff. You carried everything up here, only to throw it all down. The horse did most of it. It is the only way I can send my belongings into the next world. My children will not bury it with me. They say they do not want it, but I know they will sell it all once my light burns out. Will you lend me your strength? Throw everything over the cliff. The farther you throw, the better their chance of reaching the next world. Is that how it works? Why is everything packed in straw? I did not want anything to break. That contains a bow given to me by Hafton the Black, after I put an arrow under King Sigtid's left arm. That sounds like quite the shot. That contains a silver harpoon head I received from King Harold, for pulling Hafton's frozen body out of the ice. There. You missed a few things. The guards will get the idea. Thank you for your help. You did not have to do this. Kind and courageous people live the best lives. But it can be a difficult path to keep. I have tried to live well. It is enough that the gods know that. Even if the name Harek Gand is forgotten in Midgard. So, what will you do now that this task is done? Done? That was to announce my arrival. Now I leave this world. Enjoy your life. To Asgard! What? Wait! Thank you! Thor's hammer. That was a shock. <laughs>